Today I'm going to show you how I recreated this store-bought hat using my circular knitting machine. I bought this hat for my daughter last year from a major retailer, and every time I see it, I wonder if I could make it myself. So tonight, I'm in my knitting studio, and I'm going to give it a try. Before we get to the tutorial, I wanted to share my new product release, my knitting machine sketchbook templates. If you're like me and always sketching out ideas for hat designs, these templates can be used digitally in Photoshop or as printables with markers and crayons. They're available in adult size and baby size hats, and I'll be adding more sizes soon. I'll link below in the description to the templates, which are available in my Etsy shop now. Back to our kitten hat. For today's tutorial, I'll be using a 48 needle Centro knitting machine. For yarn, I'm using loops and threads impeccable yarn in the colors black, white, and soft rose. For this project, you'll also need a heart button, some sewable gemstones, a crochet hook, a darning needle, a pair of scissors, and a sewing kit. All the supplies I'm using today will be linked in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for lots more fun, quick and easy knitting patterns and tutorials. To begin, pull a long tail from the black yarn and throw it into the middle of the machine. Make sure your counter is set back to zero. Begin casting on by wrapping your yarn around the first needle and then weaving it back and forth around the needles until the end of the row. When you see your first needle again, bring your yarn into the tensioner and choose the middle tension. For this project, we're going to knit 100 rows in black. For speed's sake, I'm switching to my knitting machine adapter. If anyone's interested in using one, I highly suggest carefully reading the guidelines and instructions from the manufacturers of both the adapter and the screwdriver. When you reach around 75 rows, your work will start to touch the table. So when that happens, just reach inside and pull the work up into the machine. Okay, I just finished 100 rows. Unlike most hats, we aren't going to cast off our stitches using a needle. Instead, we'll be switching to a contrasting color to use as a scrap yarn. Cut a long tail from the black yarn, at least a couple of feet to be on the safe side, and throw it into the center of the machine. Then you can throw a shorter tail in for the scrap yarn. Hold the two yarn tails close together and knit at least five rows in the scrap yarn. Next, cut a short tail in the scrap yarn and crank your machine for a few more rows until your work falls off the machine. Stretch out your work and now we'll begin assembling the hat. You'll notice that one half of your hat has no scrap yarn and one half has the scrap yarn. At the end without the scrap yarn, use the long tail to begin to cinch the bottom closed. While you're cinching it closed, continue to push the work inside so that the closure is neat. Next, we'll move to the top of the hat. First, locate the two yarn tails and keep them on the left side. Then flatten the tube and use a crochet hook to go under the loop that's furthest to the right. Then pull under the next loop on the top side and then the next loop on the bottom side. Again, pull under a loop from the top and then a loop from the bottom. Continue crocheting the seam closed until the end of the row and when you're at the last stitch, pull the yarn through the last stitch and secure it with a knot. Then remove the scrap yarn. Then weave the yarn through the first half of each stitch until you get to the middle of the hat. Next, secure the yarn with a knot on the back side of the hat, right at the top. The next part can be a little tricky, but just play around and you'll get it. Secure the cinch side with a couple of knots and then bring the cinch side up inside the hat to meet the flat top area. Thread the bottom tail onto a darning needle and push it through to the center of the top to meet the tail from the top. Tie the two tails together. You want the knots to be tight, but make sure you aren't pulling so tight that it warps the shape of the top. Our kitten hat is starting to come together. Next, we need to make the cat ears. Cut a piece of black yarn around 12 to 24 inches and thread it onto a darning needle. I used a couple of stitch markers and counted 10 stitches to the left and to the right of the corner to remind me of where to sew. Start by sewing in a diagonal line from one stitch marker to the next, and when you're done, thread the yarn back inside the hat and pull the tails gently until the cat ear shape starts to form. Then turn the hat inside out, tie the tails together, and weave in the ends. Repeat the same process on the other corner of the hat to create the second ear. For this hat, I don't want the brim to be pulled down because the cat face is on the front. So I'm using a few pieces of scrap yarn to add a stitch on either side of the hat, securing the brim permanently so it stays up. Next, we're gonna add a pink heart button for the nose. I've linked below in the description to where I ordered my buttons, but any heart-shaped pink button will be great. My darning needle was too big to fit through the buttonholes, so to sew the button on, I used the pointy part of the needle to push the yarn gently through the buttonholes, and then I used the darning needle to sew it to the brim of the hat. Then secure the yarn tails with a knot and weave in the ends. Next, it's time to add the whiskers. Thread white yarn onto a darning needle and thread it from the back of the brim, coming up to a stitch two stitches away from the button nose. Then count four stitches to the right and insert the needle to the back. Secure both tails with a knot in the back of the brim and weave in the ends. Repeat this process five more times for each whisker. The last step is optional, but I wanted to match our store-bought hat perfectly, so I'm going to use a sewing kit with regular needle and thread to sew a few gemstones onto the ears. 
Our kit and hat is complete. If you make this project, I'd love to see your work. Please share your photos with me on Instagram at Diana Levine Knits. And don't forget to check out my Nitty Machine sketchbook templates available now on Etsy. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, comment below, and subscribe to the channel for lots more fun, quick and easy knitting patterns and tutorials.